Hello friends, in honor of Lunar New Year and the Year of the Rabbit, today I'll be creating an illustration to celebrate the holiday. Of course, we can't start this illustration without a little prep work. I'm going to be working with my usual Prismacolor pencils on this. For whatever reason, I pictured a lush image filled with motifs of the forest floor. And despite the cramped, vibrant upheavals of growth, the negative space within the image would form a white rabbit. As you can see, I did a couple of studies to figure out the right pose and composition. I went with this guy right here. Without further ado, let's get drawn. Creating the underdrawing, I looked at a lot of forest floor photos as well as a few medieval tapestries. Mushrooms, flowers, weeds, little sprouts, and grasses. And fiddlehead ferns, which I have since learned are edible of all the wondrous things to eat. I've never actually had them, but apparently they taste like asparagus. At some point, I actually put so many hours into this project that I began to dream about eating fiddlehead ferns. At this point in the illustration, I switched drawing locations as the winter sun receded and I needed more light. Ah yes, Zumi has come to mourn the passing of many brave pencils. No, not the forbidden chips. I think I finally finished all of the ultramarine blue parts. Next up, Color City. In all honesty, at this stage of the illustration, I am struggling. But holding fast, I've already gone through two ultramarine blue Prismacolor pencils. Luckily, I bought some more just for this project. I think I probably would have gone through more since the lead is so brittle and the first ultramarine pencil kept breaking. But a commenter here recently suggested a Kum sharpener, K-U-M, and it's been so much better on my LUDs. I previously had a Faber-Castell sharpener, but the Kum one is miles better. So thank you so much for the wise advice. At first, I was a bit taken aback when I added color beyond the blue, and part of me still misses the stark contrast of the white and ultramarine, kind of like a vase from the Ming Dynasty. I started to think maybe I'd made a mistake or chosen too wide a palette. But I'm periodically comforted by how the pencils look next to each other on my table. I figure if they look good here, they're likely to look good together on the canvas or Bristol board in this situation. There is a bit of method behind this madness, however. For the most part, most of these colors are analogous to one of the predominant colors, green. And although green is a complementary color to the traditional red of Lunar New Year, I did manage to throw in some reds and oranges. 
Despite the jarring polarity of the complementary colors, the red versus greens and the oranges versus blues, the analogous neon and mustard yellows serve as a bridge to harmonize the rest of the colors. So what's all the fuss about rabbits for this year? Well, the rabbit is the fourth animal in the 12-year sequence of the Chinese zodiac. In Chinese folklore, the rabbit is often portrayed as the companion of the moon goddess Chang'e, constantly pounding the elixir of life for her, and some show the making of rice cakes or mochi. The wee rabbit is preceded by the year of the tiger and followed by the year of the dragon, which happens to be my year. A very niche topic here, but of all the Prismacolor pencils, I think orange is one of my favorite colors to work with. Don't get me wrong, orange is a fine color, often lending warmth even in digital illustrations, but it's actually my favorite color to work with because I swear the lead is just built different in this one. Like the point barely breaks and the pigment is just so buttery. It looks good every time. This grayish seafoam color may on the surface seem really ugly, but I think it's one of those color additions that really adds to the pop and lushness of the more saturated colors. With the addition of this pale blue, I think we're in the final stretch, folks. Just adding some light shading to our rabbit here.
pre-pandemic, my greater family would meet up for the new year and have dinner in Chinatown. Here, I had dinner with friends, some new to celebrating Lunar New Year, and then spent the next day with my parents. All in all, it was a weekend well spent with lots of delicious food and lovely company. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.